Dr. Barrett, thank you for taking time from your schedule. I know you're very busy on this day before the election, one of the uh, most hotly contested elections this year in the United States. Dr. Barra, it's a little bit over 12 hours until the uh, polls open. Most of the mail-in ballots have been sent. What are you and your staff telling any undecided voter why they should vote for you instead of your opponent tomorrow? Well, first and foremost, make sure you vote, because your vote matters. And that's how we have voice, and that's core to our democracy. Now, a vote for me is a vote for the American dream. I'm a product of sons or of parents that immigrated here. I worked hard, and I could make a life that I wanted. That is what we're fighting for, making sure that we give every kid a fair shot. Everyone in that next generation, we can do that by balancing the budget, by making those investments that have always moved us forward as a nation. We've got to do this because it's critical, not just for my daughter, but for all of our children and grandchildren. That's what this election is all about, giving people a fair shot. Dr. Barra, thank you very much for your time and best wishes to you tomorrow. Thank you. Go out there and vote. It's been an honor serving our community for the last night years as a doctor. It's been my privilege to be your member of Congress for the last two years. I hope to continue serving you. Thank you, Dr. Barrow. Thank you. Okay, every vote counts. Of course. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm hearing good things out there. You know, this weekend, we had a record weekend knocking on doors, making phone calls. And you know, we're the biggest field program in the United States of America. That means we've knocked on more doors, made more phone calls, talked to more voters than any other race in the United States. That's remarkable. And you know why I feel so confident right now? It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with all of you. Because for the last six months, all of you have been preparing for this moment. And now it's time to bring it home. Get those voters to vote. This is the most expensive election in the United States of America. They think they can win it on the television. <laughs> These outside groups, Carl Rove, can come in here and try to win Sacramento County, Elk Grove. That's not going to happen. Because we've got all of you. This is about creating the future that we want. It's about giving every one of us a fair shot. Every one of you a fair shot at that American dream. So that you can believe if you work hard enough, if you try, you can be anything that you want. So true. You can one day become the Senate pro tem of the biggest state in the nation, the most important state in the nation, like <laughs> Senator Del Steinberg. That's what we're fighting for. Right, because that is the American dream. I'm the son of immigrants that came here with nothing. So in one generation, my dad could see me get sworn into the House of Representatives to represent our country at the highest level. That is America at its best, but it's not enough that I can do that. Every kid growing up in this country has to believe that they can achieve that dream, and that's what we're fighting for, a fair shot for everyone. So when you're out there, when you're on that phone talking to that voter and they're saying, well, I don't know, tomorrow's going to be a little bit busy. It's like, no, nah, you know what? This is about that dream. Because if you don't vote, you lose your voice. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to discourage folks. So I don't want to say too much more. Daryl, you want to add anything? I'd love to. Because <laughs> uh -oh. you know what? Because I feel that strongly about reelecting Ami to the Congress. There is no comparison between this gentleman and his opponent. There is no comparison between where Ami stands on the issues and where his opponent stands. And there is no comparison between where the majority party in Congress intends to take this country if they have the chance, God forbid, and where Ami and his colleagues want to take the country. It's not that it's all good or bad on one side or the other, but there are basic differences. Ami stands for opportunity. He stands for health care for all people in our community. He stands for making sure we have budgets that invest in education in ways that give everybody a real chance. And his opponent and that party stand for exactly the opposite. 
Trickle down doesn't work. Pulling everybody up is what works. And this is the national race for a reason. Because people know that Sacramento is a bit of a bellwether. And Ami took, quote, their seat. It's not their seat. It's the people's seat. And we got to keep him in Congress.